Yes. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the 2.0 Grandma's Podcast. I'm so excited to be here. Well, wonderful. <laughs> I'm, I'm delighted to have you here. And I'm just so uh, just so enamored by your artwork. I was oh, like, well, oh thank my you. God, <laughs> the colors. I love colors. I am a color girl. I have yes. a, I have an artist friend who I've never met, but she's in Australia. And all of her artwork is so calm. And uh-huh. so fabulous. And, and every painting, I start out thinking, I'm going to channel Karen today right. and do something very <laughs> calm. And within 10 minutes, I got color everywhere. Right. <laughs> I'm like, well, the day's not the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe tomorrow, right? <laughs> Maybe right. tomorrow. We'll yeah. try again tomorrow, yeah. but it's not happening today. <laughs> I know that's right. Well, you know, I started Grandma's 2.0 just for this reason, to highlight what people of a certain age, whether the grandmas or just a certain age to highlight what they're doing, because I think we are doing some phenomenal things out here and people don't know, don't know about them. No, they don't. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, as a, as a matter of fact, when you get a certain age in America, people like, they like kick you to the curb basically. Yeah, that's right. They don't even... You're invisible. You're yeah. invisible. You I know. Really are invisible. <laughs> no matter and how so, glamorous you get, you're exactly. going to be invisible. And so what I'm trying to say, okay, we're living our life out loud out here. Yeah. As the kids say, in these streets, uh-huh. we are out here, right? And so <laughs> we are trying to, you know, just trying to change the narrative a little bit. Sure, absolutely. And, and so that's why I'm so delighted that you're here because you're one of those change makers I found out and uh, I'm just really excited. So first, I want to hear all about you. <laughs> Tell me who well, Sharon Durbin Graves is. Well, she is. Um, you know, I heard this the other day that when somebody asks you um, who you are, do you mm-hmm. always talk about who you were in the past or do you talk Ooh. about who you are in the future? Oh, wow. I love that. <laughs> and I love that idea. Right. And I thought, OK, well. I am an artist and an art teacher. <laughs> yes, yes. But I, yes. I'm also I'm also a wife of 51 years, Ooh. and uh, I have four children, and I have <laughs> they're all married. So I've got four in law kids, and I got 11 grandkids. So wow, wow. <laughs> so, uh, I've done a number of things in my life as career wise. Um, uh-huh. I've been I'm a certified florist, and uh-huh. I have been. Uh, an assistant to a president of a company. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I worked in a bank. I mean, I, I've done all sorts. I've been a retail manager. I've done all kinds of things. Hmm. Uh, and then, um, oh gosh, 22 years ago, uh, I got really, really sick. Mm. And I knew I'd been sick for a while, but I nobody could put their finger on what it was until mm. I told the doctor one particular symptom and his mm. face dropped. And he's like, Oh my gosh, I think you have scleroderma. And so, yeah. I've never heard of that. What is that, if you don't mind sharing? No, it's an autoimmune disease and it is um, very disfiguring. Usually it's called, its nickname is Stone's disease. And usually Mm. it makes your face very tight, your hands are, and your skin gets hard and everything. But mine is, yeah, mine is very ugly. Mine is on the in- internal organs. And so it was eating up my lungs and my heart. Mm, and mm. so I was just losing lung capacity like crazy. And uh, so I was on um, a heart and lung transplant list. And I went to the evaluation. It's a three-day evaluation. Mm. And it's really hard. They're really strenuous on you. It's like, okay, well, if you can survive this, you can have a you can have, Right. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. This, this, is a, this is what you have to do in order to get it. I know. This, yeah, right. that's right. Yeah. If you can pass this, no, I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah, It's like boot true. camp, right? That's right. <laughs> wow. That's right. So I did pass, but I got a, uh, a letter about a week or so after they had approved me and said, on second thought, we're not going to approve you because this is an autoimmune problem and it will probably take over new heart and new lungs. And so we can't give them to you. And I said, well, uh, oh, OK, but don't give them to a smoker because I didn't do this. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, they just said you just need to get your affairs in order. And um, I'm like, well, I've already got my affairs in order because I could see the handwriting on the wall. I could barely mm-hmm. breathe, you know. So um, I just I kept thinking, 
you know, I've always thought that there was an artist inside of me and life got in the way. And I, you know, busy raising kids and working and, but so I never let it out. And I said, well, okay, if you say I've got 35 to 40 days or so to live, I'm going to try to 35 to 40 yeah. days? Yeah, yeah. I was very, I mean, I was losing lung capacity at an insane amount. Oh and my God. yeah, so I, uh, I said, well, I'm going to spend the rest of my time learning how to paint. And wow. <laughs> so I hauled my little oxygen tank around with me and I learned, uh, I was teaching myself how to paint and it was awful. I mean, I was horrible. I just couldn't, I couldn't get it. I'm like, man, this is, I guess there isn't an artist in me because I can't <laughs> get it. <laughs> Come out of there. Artist. I, know, Come out. I, I need you out right now today. <laughs> so I, I just kept hanging on, you know, and the, the lung surgeon said, you know, I've never had anybody gain more than 2% of their lung capacity back. So if, you know, where you are it, and you're losing it so fast, um, I just see no future here. And um, so anyway, i like, well, I just, I, I just kept painting and I kept, I stopped losing lung capacity. And about 10 months later, of course, I had to go every month for these horrific lung functions test where they put you in the box, you know, and you have to <laughs> breathe mm. like crazy. And, you know, and it's like, okay, I can barely breathe and you want me to do this. So um, I just stopped losing. And, you yeah. know, about 10 months later or so, I went up a percentage point. And the next month I went up two percentage points. And the wow. next month I went up three percentage points. And I just gradually kept gaining lung capacity back and finally, when I hit about 65% or so, I told the, my lung specialist, I said, you need to get this oxygen tank out of my house. Uh, he, uh, he said, no, no, the number is 85%. No, 65 is not good enough. Still, <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm not using it. So, you know, you need to get it out of here. And uh, wow. so, <laughs> so you literally, and this is what I titled this episode, painted your way back to wellness. Well, I'm not sure if it was actually that or my, my uh, I was also kind of taking care. Of, uh, I was taking care of my parents at the same time. My parents were divorced. My mother was um, up here and fell and broke her neck and her back. Mm -hmm. And so I had to have her, um, mm -hmm. you know, in a nursing home facility. Uh -huh. And um, so I was vis I was taking care of her every day and I was driving an hour or so once a week to take care help my dad take him mm -hmm. to the grocery. So my daughter and I were having this conversation once about how it is that I got better. And I, I gave her my theory and she mm -hmm. looked at me like I had three heads. So and what is your theory? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> well, she, her theory was honor thy father and thy mother that thy days ah, may be long in the land. <laughs> oh, yes. I like so that. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I, I guess I'm down with that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so and regardless, you know, I am still here 22 mm -hmm. years later. Wow. And, and uh, I am stronger, physically stronger um, than I have ever been. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> incredible story yeah, it is it, oh it, my God. I, I mean it is just nothing but a blessing yes because, god you know, and god only yeah, yes exactly yes, yeah. yes nobody else yes, could have done what yes, what happened no one. Oh yeah. my god yeah. yeah that is an incredible so story i am just like, every day i'm wow. grateful every day i'm grateful mm. and you know it was really funny when i was really at my absolute worst and i could barely walk from here to the door um, I would sit there and look out my porch window and at the trees on our farm and th and they were so vibrant to me. And I, I, I saw everything with so much detail and so much clarity. And I thought, boy, if I ever get better, I hope I don't lose this. I hope mm. I don't lose this ability. And mm. I haven't, I haven't mm. lost that. So, mm. you know, every day I see things, you know, artists see things different than people do, than normal people do. <laughs> Because mm -hmm, we're not mm -hmm. normal. <laughs> 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 but, you know, it, to be able to see things deeply and to see all the colors and the shadows and the highlights yes. and, and enjoy all of that, I have not lost that. And I am so grateful for that, that gift alone. It was. Wow. Huge. That is a beautiful story. Now, Thank you. you know, uh, I know people, people really need to hear that because sometimes people, we give up. 
Oh, yes. We give up, you know, like right before, you know, the change comes. Yeah. We give up very very easily and say, oh, well, this is my, you know, woe is yeah. me. This yeah. is right. my cross to bear or yeah. whatever. Yeah, right. But I mm -hmm. like the fact that you hung in there and you basically say the devil is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, OK, if I'm going to die, that's fine. We're all going to die. I mean, Eventually, I, I, exactly. You know, yes, I had no. I said I have a. I've had a good life. I've done the best I could do. Mm -hmm, uh, I have a great mm -hmm. family, and if I go, I go. Yes, and, but until I do. <laughs> right, but I'm gonna go kicking and screaming. Right, <laughs> I'm going yeah. out of pain. <laughs> I know that. I love that. I love that. And when I said that you you inspired me, I've always loved. Well, you know, you can tell I love fashion. Yeah, and I've always loved uh, drawing. Right, mm. but I always thought that I couldn't. You yeah, know, sometimes teachers tell you that oh when my you're gosh. a kid. You know, you all know that's not good enough or whatever. And so you you kind of embed that in your head no matter it what. It only takes no one matter, sentence. Right. It, it no matter how old it gets. Sentence. Exactly. Yeah. No matter how old you get, you keep nope. saying that. And so I wanted to design clothes, right? Yeah. And draw clothes. And so when when I read your bio, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go get me a sketch pad. Just for fun. Yes. You know, just for fun. Just because it's something that I always want to do. I went to fashion merchandising school. Uh, we lived in California. My husband was early in his military career. And I went to fashion merchandising school there. And I didn't take design. That was one of the classes, right? Yeah. And of course, I passed the class, but I still never did anything with my designs. Mm -hmm. And I have a grandson who... Uh, kid be a designer if he wanted to because he can draw very well. There's a couple, uh, two of them that can draw. My son can draw as well, one of my sons. And I'll, I keep encouraging him to pursue that. And it's like me trying to live through him, basically. Oh, That's yeah, what, sure, whatever. You know, right? I'm like, yeah, you should pursue that. You should pursue that. As a matter of fact, we can design some things together. But when I heard your story, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get my own sketch pad, some colored pencils, Good. And I'm gonna start drawing. Yes. That makes me so yes. happy. Yes. So you know, I thank only teach you. beginners. I only teach beginners. Right. Because and I, I had, love that too. I had a hard time getting started. There was before the internet. Uh -huh. I had no idea where to go. And so um that's why I teach. I said, if I ever get this, I'll teach uh -huh. any beginner who wants to learn. Wow. <laughs> if I ever get it. <laughs> wow. So. And I do want to, I do want to know how to do that because you know how people can do, I know like in art class, they do circles, they do this, but oh, yeah. you put all that together and it makes something. Yeah. Right. And I never got that. I'm like, huh? that makes no <laughs> sense to me. But anyway, but, but I've seen that and I've seen people do it and I've seen it come together. Yeah. Absolutely. Right into something Absolutely. beautiful. I'm yeah. like, oh my God. And you know so that's people... one of the things I want to do. Now, that's on my bucket list is to design. If I only do one outfit, it's, it's something, right? Good for you. Anyway. Good for you. Do you sew? Oh, yes, I can sew. When I was, oh, good. When I was pregnant with my oldest son, there were, you know, that was back in the day when they were not, the maternity clothes were just a big oh. bag, just <laughs> loose stuff. And so I said, no. So no. I started sewing. Good for you. Time. Again, because I thought I had this fashion thing. So I figured I could do it, you know, <laughs> and I did. It was, it was okay, but you know. Yes. <laughs> but yes. I did it. I wore it. I, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there I you did. go. Yes, there you go. That's what I did. Well, that's really important, you know, to, uh, to be able to follow through, to finish it. Yes. You know, finishing yes. is a skill. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. It, it takes, it takes determination. It takes perseverance. It takes tenacity. It takes, it yeah. takes. Yeah. Yes, it does. And a lot of people don't finish stuff, but I'm definitely one of those people that if I get an idea, I'm like, oh, I can do so and so and so. You know, I mean, that's how I actually got into Grandma's 2.0, right? Because people kept saying, oh, um, so you you a you don't look like a grandma. You don't act like a grandma. You don't dress like a grandma. I, I can't know. believe you're a grandma. And I said, yeah. I said, but you know, today's grandmas are different. That's right. Than what they were in the past. Yes. You know, I think we finally, as women, we've kind of come into our own, or we're getting close, you know, to where we need to be because so for so long we took a back seat to everybody else, took care of everybody else's needs, and instead of taking what care I of ourselves. Did. I yeah. did that for, you know, yes. almost 40 years. Yes. Uh, and you know, that's what we do. Yeah, yeah. that's what we yeah. do. And I think, so, that's the, I think that's the nature of a nurturer yes. is, is to, yes. you know, think about somebody else's needs first. Right, right, right. And so I and don't do that anymore. About it, 
<laughs> right, me either. And the thing about it is, no one said we actually had to do it. No. We just assumed we just, that yeah. we had to do it. Right. I think that's Be- just the nature of yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Of women and caregivers and uh-huh, nurturers uh-huh, and uh-huh. you know things like that. And I also think it's society too, because I think they play a big role. Because you know how they say, oh, a woman should do the woman should do that. And then our mothers did all of those things. So, of <laughs> yeah. course, we copied them. You know, we and we've seen what that they model. Did. You know? Exactly. So yeah. that's exactly yeah. it. But, today you know, when you talk about day. not talk about not being our grandmothers, grandmothers, you know, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I, I don't know how old you are, but my grandmothers both wore those black shoes with the big, thick heels that tied uh-huh. and laced up. I mean, uh, and and uh-huh. they were both gone by the time they were my age. Oh wow! Yeah. So you know, and and I always thought of my one grandmother as a, um, I don't know, she was uh, well before her time because she, you know, this was a day when women wore dresses all uh-huh. the time. I uh-huh, mean, uh-huh. you know, to clean to vacuum your house, you had uh-huh. a dress on. Uh-huh. And my one grandmother, she smoked and she, <laughs> she <laughs> had a job outside the house. And she wore like pedal pushers and things like that at home. So I'm like, yep, she was kind of before her time. Yes. <laughs> but yes, when yes. she got dressed up, she was in a dress with uh-huh. those black, ugly shoes. Uh, yeah. And those I'm like, like with the support stockings, yes, right? You remember yes, those things? Yes. 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 Yes, yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Teachers were like that because oh, teachers yeah. wore that stuff too. I mm-hmm. remember high school mm-hmm. teachers wore that. I remember Miss Wooten, she wore this, uh, she had those support hose and those ugly shoes that you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. And as a kid, I went to Catholic school and I had to wear those Oxford shoes. Oh, I love those. So, oh, God, I, I hated those. love those. I hated those <laughs> and the uh, uniform and all this. Yeah. And so I said, when I grow up, I'm going to have lots of clothes because I just can't, I need to get over this. I just didn't like it because. Everybody looked alike and, yeah, you know, right, wore the same right. thing and it was boring and all those <laughs> things. So, yeah, that is not me. But, yeah, you know, now, go ahead. Go ahead. I'd, I'd like to go back to the um, the where you feel like, you know, somebody said something about your art. Mm-hmm, I cannot mm-hmm. tell you how many women I have taught 50 and up who have been in a beginner's class and said, you know, I had an art teacher who said I was terrible and. I haven't painted since I was 15. Mm-hmm, 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 and so mm-hmm. I've got I've got 35 years, 40 years of that going around in their brain right. trying to help them get past that. Yes. Know? I'm yes, like, okay, yes. I think that's a therapist question. That's not really right. a sharing <laughs> question. But but art is therapy, is it not? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. Art is therapy. Yes. It's the best yes, therapy yes. because you're not thinking about all those problems and stuff that you got going on in your world. Uh-huh. You're thinking about where's the next stroke go? Uh-huh. Where's that uh-huh. highlight going to, how's this going to work together? Uh-huh. So yeah, it is a fabulous therapy. Yes, I tell that to yes, everybody. <laughs> yes. And I, you know, and I'm a, I'm a creative type. So I like photography. I like music and I don't play any instruments, but I uh-huh. love music. I like to listen. I like li- listen to different kinds of music and all that. I like movement. I like yeah. the arts. Uh, but I usually look at other people's art. There's a there's another grandma who uh, I did a uh, did one of my podcasts with her early on, and she's an artist out of Charlotte, North Carolina. She does this abstract art, very colorful, very beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Very beautiful. I'm going to get you two together. Um, Abstract is kind of yeah. calling my name recently. Mm, you know, I'm, mm. I'm like, I had a, an idea for a painting the other day that has a totally abstract background with sunflowers on the front. Mm, you know, so I'm like, mm. yeah, we're going to work on that this week. Mm, mm. That's <laughs> when so, I get inspired so for something, uh-huh. and, you know, I'm not always inspired. I'm always uh-huh. motivated, but I'm not uh-huh. always inspired. Uh-huh. And so, um, so when I get an inspiration for something, it's almost always, it almost always works out. And what kinds of things inspire you to, 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 for your art? Um, beautiful things in nature, beautiful mm. sunsets, water reflections, clouds. Clouds were the, was the main thing I wanted to learn to paint when I first started was, uh, we lived on a farm in Kentucky and, um, We'd have beautiful sunsets and these gorgeous clouds would clouds would come up over the hillside there. Mm. And I'm like, oh, if I were gonna paint that, how would I do that? How would I uh. get all those colors and you know all that? I yes. I really I thought about painting all the time. I w- I couldn't look at anything without thinking. Without, oh wow! How would I get that 
shadow in it? How, what color is that exactly? And mm. finally, I, I did tell myself, you either have to figure out how to do this or you have to figure out another way to think because mm. you think about this way too much. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> that's so, interesting. So That is interesting. Yeah. yeah. And you're right. There are some beautiful, beautiful scenes out yeah. there. You know, you just driving down the road. Like one of my favorite scenes when I'm driving is the rainbow. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. God, I love that. <laughs> so if I see a rainbow, I stop my car. I want to take a picture. Take a picture. <laughs> yes, I want to take a picture of it. It doesn't matter if I've seen it one a couple days ago. And... I know, and the picture is, is no, you're seeing it. But it is the most beautiful thing. Yeah. And I, I happened, this summer I went to um to Canada and I saw Niagara Falls on the Canada oh, side. Oh, they had all kind of rainbows there. <laughs> oh, my God. You're talking about magnificent? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> absolutely wow. stunning yeah. so those kinds of things so you know i never really thought about it as far as you know painting it but it mm -hmm. is very mm -hmm. beautiful i just love the the the, the awesomeness about yeah. it you know right that is what i like yeah so because i'm a certified florist i love painting flowers but mm -hmm. i didn't paint flowers for at least seven years or so after i started i only did landscapes because i tried a few flowers and they mm -hmm. were so daggone hard i thought i can't <laughs> so I went to something I, I thought I could do mm -hmm. uh, was a landscape. And mm. so I started there and uh, I finally found a class um, a couple hours away from me. And so I had to, um, it was Jerry Yarnell from um, TV, uh, PBS TV, not okay. Bob Ross, but Jerry Yarnell. And uh -huh. so um, I, he was teaching in Bargetown, Kentucky which at the time was a couple of hours away from me. So, you know, I had to get a hotel room. I had to haul my oxygen. I had to buy all these supplies and pay for the class. I spent an insane amount of money that week. Right, right. But I came home with a beautiful paint, what I thought was a beautiful painting. And uh -huh. I thought, okay, now I, I know I can do it. With just mm. even just the tiniest bit of instruction, not saying it was a tiny bit, but because mm -hmm. it was like four or full days but mm. you know with just that amount it's not like a college degree or anything right you know? right right so right. um yeah so when i i came home and i thought man i know i can do this now i know it's in there and mm. so then i started painting five six seven hours a day wow and um yeah so you know if you i always t people are always saying well i don't have any talent well, okay, but that part's a lie, but right, because we all have talent. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's yes. not a talent, it's a skill. It's mm. like learning to play the piano, mm. learning to do the ballet, to play golf, to dribble a basketball. It's all and that skills. is the misconception. Yes. Because people think it's a talent. I know. And that yeah. you only get so much. And that's right. just so not true. Oh, and that see, that's the so difference right there. Yeah. I never thought about it that way, but that is the difference right there. If you put yeah. in the time, you can't help it get better. Mm. You just can't help it get better. And it's just oh, like, that is a wonderful. <laughs> see, see, that makes all the difference. That makes all the difference. <laughs> you just, you have to just put in the time and you yes. have to realize you're going to create some crappy art. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, when, when the computer, when computers came out, right. Oh my gosh. Like, oh God, <laughs> what do I do with this thing? I remember some of my students saying, oh no, I don't know. No, I'm sorry. No. I can't do uh -uh. this assignment because I no. don't know how to use the computer. I know. I'm like, well, you need to learn. <laughs> so it's right. the same thing. So it's a learned it skill. Is. It, it is. You can see, learn a skill. All the you time can practice I was a skill thinking, and you can improve on a skill. And all the time I was thinking it's the talent like everybody it is else. No. Wow. No. It is not. Now, there are people who come here loaded yes. up with talent. Yes. But they are so few and far between. Mm -hmm. And it's the people who uh, decide, I I've got to learn how to do that mm. and are willing to put in some time for mm. it. And I don't mean you have to paint like I did because mm -hmm. I really thought I had a short time there. So, you know, but an hour or two, three days a week mm -hmm. will get you some incredible yeah, yes. improvement if you'll just do it, you know. Right. You decide what you're going to practice on and practice right. with a purpose. Yes, and do it. You know, I guess it, I'm. I'm thinking now. I'm being very selfish. I'm thinking about myself. So I'm thinking about my designs, right? You notice I said yes. my designs. Right? We're good. I want to change my. I've changed my design. attitude. About it. <laughs> I love so, it. Yeah. So so some of my designs. So when I think about, it, I could do it while I'm 
while I'm eating dinner, you know, because what I like to do sometimes I get on my iPad when I'm eating. I know I shouldn't. But now this gives me <laughs> something else to do. Yes. Instead of on my yes. iPad, I can do some freehand. Instead of scrolling. <laughs> right. I can freehand. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. I can add some color to it. Oh, my God. That sounds like so much fun. Too. Yes, it is fun. It, I don't know anything wow. about digital drawing or anything. I mean, I have no idea. I, I wouldn't be able to start that, you know, but as far as, uh, you know, my my son-in-law is a um, prosecutor. And so he mm-hmm. was running for office mm-hmm. and I was um, taking his son around to um, drop off information for people. And so every time I would, would go to a new driveway, I had my sketchbook there and he would walk up. I'd give myself 30 seconds, draw something interesting from that yard. And so, you know, for two days, three days, every time we went out, I had my little book right there and I, and we'd pull right up and I had to decide right away. What is it? Is it the uh. little chair? Is it the table? Is it the little gnome in the yard? What is it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and draw that and then go on to the next thing. Wow. And so, so yeah, you should, uh, if that's what you're interested in, your heart is, you should take a sketchbook with you when you're going to pick up your kids, you're sitting there in the car in the parking lot you know you're half frozen to death turn the heater on <laughs> and uh yeah. draw something you know it doesn't matter yeah. what it is draw yeah. your steering wheel draw what you oh, see yeah. out the window uh. you know just draw because uh-huh. the more you do it the better you're gonna the get better you get at it yes thank you for that because <laughs> i tell you again i was thinking oh no you guys that's, that's a talent you have to be born nope. with that Nope. Like I said, my my son, my one of one of uh, my grandsons, two of them actually can draw, and I'm like, wow! I've always yeah. wanted to draw and wanted that skill, but I let that teacher, <laughs> right? And I let that teacher, you know, you help me head. to believe that I couldn't head. do this. Yep, yep. Where is she now? I, I know. I bet she's. <laughs> <laughs> telling kids they can't do stuff. I and know see, that's that's the other thing that really bothers me, you know, with teachers and I teach teachers, right? And so I always tell them, make sure you're positive with you because children carry they oh. hold what you say is golden. Exactly. What a teacher says is golden to a child. I didn't know I could be so stupid until my kids went to school. Right. <laughs> and and once they went to school, well, Miss mm-hmm. Perry said right, that right, it's right, this. Right. And I'm like, right, well, right. I'm sorry, but Miss Perry is wrong. Right. <laughs> Mississippi is not spelled like that. It's spelled right. like this. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. But oh, you I had a six year old that argued with me every day. Because mm, Miss Perry said Miss Perry said this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Mom, you don't know anything because Miss Perry is the teacher. I know. Right, She's right, 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 right. You're not yeah. a teacher. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah teacher, right. Ms. Just, Ms. Mom. Now, I'm any just of your the grandchildren who feeds you. <laughs> right, right. Do any of your children or grandchildren draw? Or have um, any you know, I have taught them? a lot of grandchildren to, mm-hmm. uh, to draw, mostly my grandsons. Ah. Now, you know, you think that. You know, it's kind of a girl. It's not. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But most of my grandsons have Mm. an interest. And I have a little four-year-old. I can't get him to sit still long enough. Right. right. (laughs) (laughs) But he comes into my studio every time he comes here to see what I'm working on. He Uh. asked me, is it dry? (laughs) Uh, <laughs> and I good say, question. Yeah, yeah I, if I say yes, he has to pick it up. Right, <laughs> <laughs> and then he looks at me and says, "I don't have one of these." <laughs> he said he doesn't have. What does he, he doesn't say? Doesn't have one of he those. Have- <laughs> no, so, <laughs> so I have a whole stack of uh, like five by eight by ten paintings over uh-huh, there uh-huh. that I've done in classes. Uh, and so, you know, I'm, I'm, I might paint over them a half a dozen times or, uh, you know, whatever. Uh-huh. Cause when you're going to teach a class, you have to advertise that. So you have to actually do the painting. Right. And then when you're teaching the class, you're doing the painting again. Uh, and if you teach the class more than once, you've got a half a dozen of the same. Painting. Yes. Yes. So he'll yes, go yes. over there and he'll look at that stack and, and he'll pull one out. I don't have one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, you can have that one. <laughs> right, right. Right. Now I see you have art work behind you i do yeah that is so beautiful tell me about that one behind you there it looks like the moonlight yes it's um called uh sunset at the lake Mm, and um it really just came out of my head but because i love painting clouds dramatic skies Uh water reflections Uh i I love them you know like you can make the water look smooth 
and you can make it look very rough. Mm -hmm. So I like, Mm. I love doing that. And so that's, don't tell anybody. I won't. That's one of my three favorite paintings. Oh, okay. Uh, so just keep that under keep your head. That, I will keep that <laughs> under my head now. When people hear it, uh, they didn't get it from me. No, uh, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to hurt the feelings of my other art. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, because they would be really upset. Oh, they'd be upset. Yeah. Now this she one over here me. is one of those inspiration paintings mm. where it's. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, but. The tree is up there, but then below it mm-hmm. is the earth and all sorts of roots. Mm. So, you know, it's kind of the the name of it is the roots of our raisin. And the roots of our raisin. Our raisin. Yeah. To be raised. It's, you know how uh, we're raised. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, okay. that, that uh, tree is only going to be with those roots. Let yes, <laughs> yes, it's yes. It's kind yeah. of a thought-provoking painting. Hmm, so interesting. I like uh, I like doing things like that that make you think about something. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The roots <laughs> so, of our raising. Uh huh. Yeah. So then yeah. that means if you were you would like, somebody else were doing that or or interpreting that, they would think about probably how they were raised and Possibly. then what would those roots then yeah. look what like for roots? them? Yeah. yeah. What are your roots? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't really. Uh-huh. <laughs> I always say that I was raised by wolves. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have in the in the uh, in the dirt there? What do you have? Just do you the have roots. biting? Is there anything? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> snap, snap. Yeah. <laughs> and then what about that other one, the smaller one there? Uh, yeah, that I um, that's part of a series. I really love to paint in a series, mm. 10, 15 paintings, different sizes, similar topics, but not the same painting over and over again. And the mm-hmm. reason being you learn by the time you get, you start one mm-hmm. and by the time you finish number 10 or 12 or 15, you have learned so much and you have improved your skills so much in that area. So I l- really like to paint in a series and I like to have at least 10 paintings in a series. And this mm. one is part of the, uh, a series that I did on um, water lilies after I went to the oh. Monet experience in mm. Cincinnati. And nice. oh my God, I, was... I don't know if anybody's ever been to the Monet experience, uh-uh, but it's, it is amazing. It is, you're not looking at the paintings. You're looking at a uh, digital um, copies of the paintings uh-huh. and they're huge. They're on your clothes. You're walking on them. You're inside Ooh. them. They come to life. They move past you. They go from one painting to another. Um, it, it is an amazing, amazing experience. If anybody can go to the Van Gogh experience or the Monet experience or any of those like that, they're usually in a like a big convention center type thing. Mm-hmm. And you go from um, you learn something about the artist and about his life and why mm-hmm. he or she creates what they do. But then you usually go into a giant room and paintings just come to life on the walls. Wow. There's music playing. Ooh. And I was just so inspired by his water lilies mm. that I came home and I started this series. And I had like three or four eight by tens. And then this is a mm, an eight by 16 or something. And then I, mm-hmm. I, I went all the way up to 36 by 36 inches. Oh, wow. So it's in a gallery right now, but okay. you know, so, um, yeah, it was, it, uh, inspiring and you have to go with inspiration. You, you just have to. Yes. And <laughs> what is your, um, what gallery do you, you host your paintings? Your well, work? I'm in a community gallery. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm in, in DV, Indiana. It's called the community arts center. Okay. And, okay. um, so I teach there also. And it was funny this past weekend, a week ago today, we had an art academy there for fourth and fifth graders. We had um, about 35 kids, their parents signed them up. And then only half of them showed up. They had four hours with an artist of their choice to learn their craft for Mm. free. Mm, nice <laughs> nice and only half of them show yeah up. well you know I'm there's like, there's oh. a saying in the business where if you give stuff for free people won't come i they, know they feel like they have to pay for it so that uh, yeah just they gotta have that, a dog that, in the fight. yeah yeah mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. you know it was it was that was kind of sad 
But, you know, I had four kids. And so we spent four hours together. We learned about drawing and about um, highlighting and shading and shapes oh. and color wheel. Um, did a lot of color information. Uh-huh. We did um, three different paintings. Two were relatively small, like a little circle one and then a little five by five inch square one. And hmm. then we did an eight by ten um abstract one and it was amazing to see how difficult it was for them to let go of trying to cre- paint a thing and mm. just do something with the color uh-huh. but once they did start to let go it was hilarious to watch <laughs> <laughs> i they i gave them palette knives and forks and balled up aluminum foil and all sorts of things to make their marks with Ah. uh, and to put apply paint with so they could maybe make it easier to play in the paint Uh Uh, and Mm -hmm. and so once once they put the brush down Uh and and picked up something else then they started to loosen up that's always a, a thing that artists particularly artists early in their career say, I need to loosen up. I, I, I paint too tight. Uh, and and uh. so trying to loosen them up right at, you know, as fourth and fifth graders, uh, it was kind of difficult, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So they, we had a group that made polymer jewelry. We had another group oh, that man. did pottery. We oh. had a group that went out to a guy's farm and did wood turning. Nice. So, so they spent four hours with, you know, a very accomplished artist and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and had a chance to learn their craft. We, wow. we provided their lunch. We provided all supplies. Oh, how nice. <laughs> yeah, so, that is very, especially the supplies, because the supplies can oh cost gosh. you quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right. Especially now the economy is just getting out of hand. It's really <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's gone yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, there's, there's one thing, like I said, I always wish that I could draw and I always because that teacher told me I couldn't. But you really have inspired me now. And I'm thinking about, like, uh, there's a show on TV, The Bold and Beautiful. Oh, you yeah. Know that show. Uh huh. And uh, it's one of those soap operas that's been around for years. Yeah, I know. So, the last, this week, you know, um, the dad and the son are competing and they're doing a fashion show. So, so uh-huh. they're designing clothes. Uh-huh. And for the last couple of weeks, that's the story that has been the storyline. And I've right just been watching it because I'm like, oh my God, these designs are so beautiful. So that along with you coming into my life and say, <laughs> oh my God, I'm, a, I'm yes. giving you permission. I'm giving everybody permission. Go ahead and draw and paint. Go ahead and draw and paint and, <laughs> and design your pet. I'm so excited. So do you, yes. Do you love to watch uh, like Project Runway? No, 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 no. See, I, 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 reality and I don't, uh, so <laughs> I've been forcing myself to watch the golden bachelor because of the age group of the people on there okay you know that's a whole new genre yeah right yeah. even though it's said that whole bachelor franchise and stuff but it's a whole new genre as far as the age of the people what and i've been ages? fascinated well uh-huh. they're they're like grandma ages i oh, think wow. the youngest one uh that i've noticed on the women is six is 60 Oh wow! The the gentleman <laughs> is like seventy something, seventy one, seventy two, somewhere in there. Huh. And so these women range in age, and they uh, they started out with I don't know how many there was, probably twenty five or thirty of them, and then and now they're We've down narrowed to it down to six. The other night, I think six. Yeah, and then I think now it's down to like three. Wow! Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Big, uh, I'm not a reality person. Yeah, but I'm I only a crime diva. I like crime. Uh, shows. Okay, okay. You like my husband? <laughs> he loves the crime stuff too. Uh, but yeah, I, and the, like I said, the reason I liked it because what I wanted to do, I'm like, finally, somebody noticed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that people over fifty exist, you know, and so somebody and on TV finally know that, that we can do stuff. We can date. We can have fun. We can go out. <laughs> and these women were they played pickleball. And, oh, I want to play pickleball. Damn. <laughs> I was so impressed at the things they were doing. Now, there were some things about the show that I didn't like, yeah. but I was just looking at the the women themselves. So they were getting dressed up, yeah. you know, doing their makeup, looking very beautiful, very fly. 
And then I love the fact that they were not afraid of like one rolled in on a motorcycle, <laughs> another one. I mean, yeah, it, yeah. I'm like, wow. So <laughs> it tells the world that guess what? We are yeah. not done, honey. I know. As a matter of <laughs> fact, we're just getting started. Okay. That's right. We're not yes. dead yet. <laughs> we're not dead yet. We are just getting started. So I loved it. I love it. And I think and I, I'm just excited that they somebody came up with that idea to have yes. that show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it really is in line with what we're talking about. Yes. You know, like yeah. we, we're not over yet. Mm -mm. No. And, you know, so I'm always uh, trying to encourage not only children, but adults as well to, mm -hmm. um, you know, on my YouTube channel, I, I usually try to give something, some kind of motivational thing every three mm. or four videos just mm. for people to, you know, think, I, I think I could do that. I think I could mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. And and that's really all. It's a head game. Yes, you know, yes, like, yes. You know, sports and stuff is all head games. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. And and I think Henry Ford said, um, "If you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right." Yes, you're right. Exactly. <laughs> yep, so, that's exactly you know, right. You have to have some good positive mindset. Yes, you do. If you want to try something new, mm -hmm. and I tell you what, it's it is nerve wracking if you're trying to learn something like this to actually post it on your Facebook page or whatever. This is what I've been working. I, I know when I, my first post, I remember this clear as day. The first time I posted on my Facebook page, what mm -hmm. I was painting, it sat on my computer for three days before I hit the publish button. And why was that? Because I was afraid. You were scared. Right? I thought, man, people, I, you know, what I do here in my little basement studio is one thing, but, you know, putting it out there in the world is a whole nother yeah, ballgame. Yeah. And yeah. so it's kind of scary. I'm sure it was yeah. scary for you. Oh, first, yeah. Yeah. First the time first time. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. When I did my website, when I, when I, um, started doing little videos, yeah. I did mm -hmm. video hauls and stuff like that. I was scared. I didn't know much about social media. I, I, I ignored it for so long. My daughter wouldn't even let me get on. She's mom, you do not need to be on social media. And I'm like, and so social media had a bad rap. Right. Yeah, sure, and I said, sure. well, I'm only going to use it for business. Yeah. I'm not going to use it for personal, but because the way it's structured, you have to have a personal account. Right. Yeah. But and then so, you, can you can get a business after that. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So every now and then I post something on my personal account. Yeah. Uh, just because I have to, you know, keep it going, some sure. activity. But it's always something, you know, it might be a saying. It might be if that I'm somewhere, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. yeah. That sort of thing. I might take a picture and post it and that sort of thing. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty dormant. But the business one is the one that I try to focus on more. So, yeah, yeah me but too. yeah, I, I understand. I was afraid. I was I was like, oh, my God. And with my first podcast, even. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh my I'm God, sure. I'm doing what? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'd be but terrified. It's something, right. Mm -hmm. But it's something that I always wanted to do. Yeah. I remember working, uh, I used to work for this group back in DC and um, it was, it was uh, the National Head Start office, right? Oh, okay. mm -hmm. In DC. And so we, our job was to develop content and all this kind of stuff when, when that became popular, right? To put online for the website. And so one day I said to my boss, I said, you know, we need to do, uh, we need to start a podcast and, and set up our content in a podcast format yeah, yeah. so that people, when they're in the car, when yes. they're on the treadmill, they da, da, da. he looks at me like I had two heads. I'm like, oh, no, yeah. that's yeah. a thing. Right? <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> right? I said, that is a thing. I said, and people will really appreciate it. Well, it was a little bit, the idea was a little bit before their time, their thinking. Yeah. yeah. So that didn't wash. And I kept saying and kept saying. And then one day I just said, you know what? I'm going to do my own podcast. Forget yeah. you people. So that's what I did. Good for now, you. I don't do any, I don't, it's not about, you know, information for that group. It's more right. for grandmas. Right. Yeah. But when I, when I did my grandma's 2.0, I thought, oh, this is the perfect time to do this a podcast. I've always yeah. wanted to do. Yeah. 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 And then this people say, it. well, how do you do it? I'm like, girl, first you pray. Okay. <laughs> 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 and then you just go to it. You know, what can That's you right. do? That's right. You just, you just do it. Right. There's no wrong way to do it, I don't no, think. I mean, no. unless nobody can hear you, then that's Well, that, that, that's a problem. <laughs> right. right. But and I have to say, is, I love your background and everything. I oh, love all the purple. And, yeah. yeah, the, the yeah. Uh, my, my virtual assistant, she is just, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, I need one awesome. of those. <laughs> yeah, she does all kinds of graphic design. And uh, the girl is really awesome. I love it. And so, you know, I give her an idea. I love people like that. Yeah, you can say, yeah. oh, well, you know, I would like da, 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 da. next thing you know, she's it's done there. it. You know, like, wow. I've heard it said that if you have to train somebody to do the job you want them to do, you hire the wrong person. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. They have to have the skill yeah, before. Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So. But anyway, so uh, Sharon, so now I want us to stay in touch because I definitely I'm going to look at one of your classes for beginners okay. and yeah. see. Uh, but I'm really interested in fashion design. So I don't know if that's in your repertoire, but you know, <laughs> but that's what I'm really interested in. And I would love to have your story. I would love to for you to be a part of my book. So now I don't know if you know about my book. So I have I don't two books. So one, one the first one was about grandma, just some different grandmas, right? Uh -huh. That I asked to be in the book. The second one is uh, I think the first one had twelve. The second one has twenty three different grandmas. That one just came out in October. Oh wow! I'll and get this. everybody has different stories. Yeah, sure. Right. Sure. And to me, that's the beauty of it. It is. And once I started doing, and I call it this grandma, once I started this grandma thing going, I found that grandmas are doing some phenomenal <laughs> things out here. Oh my God. I have been in awe of all these people because <laughs> the I meet one, like I met one and she, she has a podcast studio. I'm like, what? A radio <laughs> station and a podcast studio. Yeah. So that's where I did my first um, podcast was in oh, her studio. Oh, Right. Until I learned what to do. And then I said, yeah. okay, now I think I can do it from home now. But yeah. anyway, but I started yeah. there. And then one is a DJ. One owns her <laughs> own construction company. Oh my I gosh. Mean, yeah. It yeah. is phenomenal. The things yeah. that these women are doing. Right. Right. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Do your friends understand what you do? Um, you know, I don't know. I, my family sure does not. No, my family uh, doesn't either. Yeah. They don't, they, they don't get it. But I mean, it doesn't matter. Because I'm of the mindset right now, it really doesn't matter what other people think. It's yeah. what I think. Well, and you know, it wasn't I, always that way. No, I get that. I, yeah. I totally, yeah, I'm old enough now not to worry about what. Yeah, hello, think. whatever, people. <laughs> right, right. I'm out of high school. I don't have to worry. Thank about you, that. right. <laughs> but yeah, because I, I just have a think friend. it's interesting, you know, that I have these online classes and mm -hmm. I have a membership for painters and and, and my friends have no understanding of what it is i'm trying to accomplish i mean right just, <laughs> they cannot wrap their brains around it so right, I, right right I'm right like, right okay well yeah, i'm I, gonna I, keep on anyway i know when i went to my high school reunion uh in april <laughs> this year so everybody you know people said well what are you doing what are you doing and i told yeah. myself i'm doing a grant what is that what does that mean? <laughs> and I said, well, you know how a uh, 2.0 something is a different version. It's an yeah. advanced version of right. something. I said, remember when we first did, you started using the cell phones? It was the yeah. iPhone one. one. Now it's like, what, 15? <laughs> 15. <laughs> you know, I said, so each version is better, right? Yeah. It's an, more advanced. Right. I said, so that's the whole idea behind that. The grandmas today are totally different yeah. than grandmas of the past. And one girl said, well, I'm not a grandma, so I guess I don't get it. Okay, no problem. No problem. <laughs> and these are like my close friends in high, from high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one girl said, and I said, oh, I said, uh, I'd like for you guys, a couple of my grandmas, I'd like for you guys to be in my book. So, you know, I can tell your story because one yeah. lost her husband and she's a caregiver of oh. her parents and, you know, all this. And she was the caregiver to her husband and all that. And this girl was a cheerleader in high school, right? Very beautiful girl, very yeah. nice girl, very sweet girl. And then she's had all this tragedy in her yeah, life. Yeah. And so, and I said, well, what are you going to do now? She said, well, right now I really want to find me a man. But anyway, <laughs> and I said, I get it. I get it, girl. So, you know, and I said, well, I would love to tell your story if you don't mind sharing. Nothing. It, when I sent her an email, it was like, uh, you know, yeah. no, yeah. you know, like birds yeah. chirping, nothing. Yeah. So another girl, same thing. I asked her. She, so people just don't, they're not, they're not getting it yet. Yeah. But it's okay. Right. It because is okay, there are you know. some that are getting it. Okay? Well, I, you know, I have a, I have students from all over the country. Mm, so, mm. you know, because it's all online. Right, right, right. I love that. <laughs> I mean, I yes. teach in person too, but mm -hmm. I teach a lot on, online. Okay. And so, um, yeah, so they're all over the country. But it's, yeah. it's, it's, I just find it amazing that the people that I'm closest to 
don't seem to understand what I'm trying right, to, trying right, to accomplish. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, you know, that's usually the case. And I don't yeah. know what that is. It's like when I worked on my doctorate, my, my professors told us that now, the people that you know, your family, they're not going to understand why you got to work all the time and why yeah, you, you right. can't have fun like you used to, can't yeah. go to parties, you know, da, 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 da. they're not going to get it. Yeah. So if that is something that's important to you, you might want to leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a door. <laughs> but if that's not important to you and you are committed, then yeah. you need to stay. Then you and I was stay. like, well, yeah, it won't. Be. They, they won't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, they like yeah. whatever. No. And so <laughs> I, my thing was, you just got to figure out a way to do what makes you, what brings you joy. Yeah, true. In your life. And that's yeah. it. It doesn't and this matter is it. what other yeah. people think. Thank you. And I when no you good. know that. If I don't get the pain every week, you don't mm. want to be around me. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I feel like my world is spinning out of control. Mm, mm. If, if I don't get to be creative mm -hmm. and, uh, and create something every single week. Mm, mm. I'm wow. No <laughs> wow. I'm no good. Wow. That's, yeah. that's incredible. We need to, yeah, we need to figure out a way to work together on some things. So I would love, like I said, I would love for you to meet uh, the other person. Her name is Patricia Boyer. She's okay. out of North Carolina. She She's into abstract drawing. I would love for you guys to meet and I would love to figure out a way to connect the two of you because I love your story. And it, hers is a little similar to yours. She was caregiving for her younger sibling she's like the baby of the family there were oh, like yeah. a thousand of them and she was <laughs> no, 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 but but i think she said something like 20 oh my gosh yeah really and so she was the youngest and so she was caregiving. i might be related to her right. <laughs> <laughs> and so and so i, I have an that uncle would with really 15 beautiful. kids <laughs> wow so i think that would be beautiful yeah. to try to get you two together but then i would also like to love to to share your story um, in the next book because uh, your story is phenomenal <laughs> and <you>. it's very, <laughs> I think it's so uplifting. And, you know, if, if I didn't know any better or if I would just to kind of surmise with everything that you've said, like I said, it's like you painted your way to, you know, you True. just change yeah. the trajectory <laughs> of your life. I did. I by did doing change. something that brings you joy. True. <laughs> You're right. That You're is a phenomenal right. thing. <laughs> do you know how yeah. many people need to know that that's a thing that you can that do? That's possible. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because a it's lot of people don't thing. believe that that's possible. I know. I know. And you know, when you think about where do you want to be in the next five years, ten mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. what, who do you want to be? Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I want to be a painter. I want to mm -hmm. be an art teacher. Mm -hmm. I want to be a better painter, a much better painter than I am today. I'm always looking to get better. You know, to to learn from every painting. Um, and, and I, I just think every artist is like that. Yeah. I, I'm not sure that they are, but I think everybody. Is yeah. Like yeah. Uh, and they should be right. Yeah. Right? If you want to get better. <laughs> right, 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 right. So tell us your website information and okay. your social media, uh, <laughs> handles and all of that. So we'll okay. know. Well, my, uh, my teaching website is painting with acrylics, 101.com. And that 101 is like a college, you know, the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, like you have 2.0 uh, mm -hmm. as the next version. Mine is uh, one, painting with acrylics 101.com. And on there, there's free classes. There's um, free um, informational type things. There's paid classes. There's my membership, uh, a, a full um, art course. Uh, and so there's a, a ton of stuff. But the best thing on there, I think, is um, my blog. Because I have a, a YouTube channel, and so every week I upload, I don't know, five to seven shorts plus one regular video, and I blog about them. Mm. And so there's always more information in the blog mm -hmm. than I can possibly put in a video, you know. So I, I really, um, and that's all free. You don't have to, you know. <laughs> yeah, I get real frustrated when I see something on Pinterest, and I want to click on it. Mm -hmm. And go to their website or their blog or whatever. And it's so covered up with ads. I can't find the article. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, I'm not, I, I can't be like that. So, so, so you can find anything on my website fairly easy without okay. too many distractions. Okay. Okay. So then I have um, my art page. I have a website just for my art and it's Sharon Durbin, D-U-R-B-I-N, gravesart.com. So it's pretty basic. Pretty easy, yeah. And, and then your your social media handles. Yeah, I, well, like on um, on um, Instagram, I'm at ky paintster. 
Okay. K Y Painster. Okay. Yeah, Kentucky Painster, you know, but it's K Y Painster. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. And All then right. um on my YouTube channel, um, which I really, really work on because I just feel like it's such a fabulous medium um for information, mm-hmm. you know, to, mm-hmm. to learn stuff. So I mean, because you can learn anything on YouTube. <laughs> Yes, you can. You need yes, to change a light bulb. You can learn how to do that. Yes, it. you can. My husband does that now. He goes to YouTube to do yeah. all kinds of stuff around the right. house. Yeah, yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Well, it is um, beginning acrylic teacher, or you can also use my name, Sharon Durbin Graves, and you can find it that way. Okay, yeah. excellent. So. Well, thank you for sharing that, and thank you so much for hanging out with me this afternoon. Oh, this has been. I ball. really had a good time <laughs> getting to know you. Had a good time laughing. I'm always up for a laugh. Me too. You know? I, if, if I can't laugh about it, just don't invite me. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, I'm not going to be the stuffed shirt. You know. No, like, uh, uh, no. Well, no, that's I not me at all. Right. I'm going to put my beret on now. Right. And <laughs> <laughs> that is so not happening. <laughs> right. I know. Right? I'm putting on so, some pretty crappy pants and right. a shirt that's got a zillion things of paint on it <laughs> and an apron that's covered in paint and I'm still going to paint. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I cannot wait to, to, to start my drawing. Like I said, I, yes. I'm like, man, I was I at the store the some. other day and I got, and I didn't get the pad. I saw it, but it's so funny because I saw it and when I saw it. I thought about the bold and beautiful and those uh-huh. designs, yes. right? Well, and then go. the next day I read your book. I'm like, oh my God, I should have got that. <laughs> <laughs> you should have. You should have. But I'm going to get it. Don't you worry. And, you I, and when I get it, I'm going to send you an email. I no, I'm going to send you a picture. There you go. I want to see it. Yes. I want to yes. see it. You send me an email with a picture in there. <laughs> yes, that's what I'll do. I'll send you a picture with it and then say, look, I got my my tools. That's right. I'm I got the tools now. there and I'm working. Yeah, I'm ready now. <laughs> so, but thank you so much, Sharon. I thank have you really for enjoyed talking me. with I've you. Had a oh, wonderful no, you're time. welcome. You are so welcome. <laughs> and I look forward to working with you in the future in some capacity. So I'm going to follow up with you about okay. a few things. That'll okay, that'll be great. That'll Perfect. be great. All right. Take care now. See you later. (laughs) Bye-bye.